What is up, Facebook? It is Friday. You guys have made it. And welcome to Fun Day Friday, brought to you by RegTech, powered by Kingsford. Man, we are getting geared up for St. Patrick's Day, and we have an awesome show planned for you today. So without any further ado, I'm going to pass it over to my two main men, your master chef, Greg Muller, and our barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan. Cheers, get buddy. Up. Cheers, buddy. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. It is Friday, after all. You got to have a drink on Friday. What better drink than agua? I thought that or was a that limited, beer. I thought that was that limited edition crystal clear shiner. That's right, limited edition, Rectech branded, uh, clear, carb-free beer that Elon Musk sent down. He he watches the show regularly. He has a Rectech. <laughs> yeah, he's and, got a couple. And um, he's got he's trying to put one on the moon. I swear to you, uh, he's a heck of a guy. But he's he invented this. Uh, colorless, carbless beer for me, because he felt bad, and I really do appreciate it. Elon, I love you, my it's friend. A nice guy. Send us some, send us some Teslas. Absolutely, <laughs> we got a couple in the parking lot right now. But hey, guys, this is Fun Day Friday, where we have a great time out here on the Rec Tech deck. We we never miss a Friday. We are live right here. We are people on the breezeway, the breeze just yeah. beautiful, sunny Evans, Georgia. It's a gorgeous day today. We got the shorts on, all of us except mm -hmm. Sherpa, because mm -hmm. he's mm -hmm. a maniac. Well, he's pasty mm -hmm. and white. He is a little on the uh, the pale side. He is just, <laughs> just a little bit. Just, oh, I left my glasses in the truck. Yep. Next uh, time. Gotta get, gotta get having glasses, Greg. But hey, uh, we're doing, uh, what are you doing, corned beef Rubens today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a little Irish twist on a uh, not very Irish dish. But time out though, because we're not just gonna show them how to make a corned beef Reuben. Right. We're gonna corn like one of the nicest briskets out there. Oh, shoot you. Yeah. We've got ourselves a cow cattle company, American Wagyu brisket sitting right in front of us, and we are going to turn this into some of the best, most delicious corned beef for you guys. Um, so make sure you smash that share button. I'll give you three seconds to do that. Three, two, one, smash, smash it! it. Um, but show the whole internet. Now get on in here, Sherpa. There's a lot of cool stuff going on right now. Chef Greg is- Well, this process is, is gonna take a little bit more than a fun day Friday. So he we'll, is we'll get making a, he's making a potion right now. I'm actually measuring, which doesn't happen often. Okay, so on the website, rectech.com, under the recipes tab, you can scroll through the beef Ooh. subsection and you will find the recipe for a corned beef brine. Oh, shoot, yeah. And that's all I'm doing is just following the recipe, okay? We've done the hard work for you people, okay? We have done the hard work for you because all of our recipes are tried, tested, true, good to go, and we've got a mortar, mortar and pestle here. We're making a corned beef cure. Are we gonna cook him that, Greg? What are we doing with that thing? Well, the, the corned beef cure is literally gonna cure the corned beef and give us that delicious, uh, red uh, kind of firm texture okay. that we're that we're used okay. to uh, for corned beef. So if we, it, the folks out there, if they've never seen a mortar and pestle, can you kind of explain what's going on right now? This is like the uh, 17th century food processor. So essentially, we're going to grind up all of these herbs, spices, and delicious flavor. All of that there. is listed in the recipe at rectech.com. You can also download the app. Uh, and get this recipe as well, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you want this recipe or any other recipe that we've done on camera, insert it aggressively into your inbox. Delicately. Please sign up at rectech.com forward slash lunch break, and we will email you these amazing recipes. Now, uh, we're gonna need to put some of these brats on as well. I like brats. This is just a little sidebar. We are cooking um, some beer brats here. We've got them at 300 degrees on the RT 340, which is still on sale right now at rectech.com. You can get this grill, 220 pounds of pellets for $699 shipped absolutely free. Say what? Right to your dough. Um, so I've already had, we've got about three Vidalia onions cut up with about a half a stick of butter and one of these aluminum half pans. It's just been chilling in there. Uh, for about 30, 30, eh, 25 minutes. Um, that they're smells not, so good. Yes, absolutely. A very, very aromatic season with that uh, Ben's heifer dust. And again, this is just a little sidebar. 
uh, making these sausages. This is going to be a little snack for us. I'm not going to lie to you. This is my, uh, when they bring back the St. Patrick's Day Parade, this is my go-to parade tailgating food. Uh, my wife and I, when we were younger, we would always pregame okay. the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade. And uh, anybody that came out and hung out with us, this is what we were making uh, for all of our guests. That's Easy a good, peasy, that's a good tip for St. Patrick's Day, Jody. So obvious. are you going to be pregaming this year? Well, you know, they uh, unfortunately have postponed or and or canceled oh, okay. the local St. Patrick's Day parades as well as in Savannah and oh, a lot man. of the larger cities. But hey. I have a feeling they're going to be coming back next year. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, well, I, I have a feeling that the Flanagan House is going to be decked out though for St. Patrick's Day. Well, that's right. But that's I know, right. but St. Patty's Day is special to you, not just for for because it's St. Patty's Day. That's right. Absolutely. Because it's it's <laughs> like it's like a, a national holiday. It's, a, it's Flanagan a Flanagan Clan national holiday. We both Becky and I got engaged on St. Patrick's Day. Uh, we had uh, our son on St. Patrick's Day, so that's pretty special. How do you to plan that? Special. I'm just saying, like how. How, who did you have to pay to make that? I mean, work? you just have to be super leprechaun. Irish. There's a little leprechaun that I yeah. that I paid to do a little something for me. So, uh, you know, sometimes you can find them up in trees and, and, and things like that. So, uh, All right, you just so gotta sure, watch check out. This out. So hey, the, John, have you ever seen a leprechaun? <laughs> yeah, I see him on that tree. <laughs> so these <laughs> these are the packets that come with a pre-corned beef, right? That is and we the made same that exact same thing. mixture that we just made. Crazy. Except I can guarantee ours can have way more flavor to it. And guys, if you're not comfortable doing this, doing the prepackaged and getting this or uh, buying it online, it's a okay. That's yeah, you how can, you can do this. But that's it's how way you more live fun your to play with toys. Like, why would you not want to do that? Shoot, so you want to grab yeah. uh, two gallons of water and uh, about five pounds of ice because you want to start okay. with ice cold water. And we magically, we have that right here. Boom. Right here, just like that. Get yourself a bucket like this, a Cambro or a five gallon bucket will work. You just need to make sure that you can fit it in your refrigerator. Uh, and or chilling device. Uh, you got to make sure you keep it nice and icy and cold. Um, you, coolers, you got to keep on adding ice too. And yep. that's, not a, that's not a bad thing. Uh, yep. Every seven days for that. If you're going to you're gonna do that, you can go ahead and uh, put your brine uh, in a uh, trash bag with okay. the meat, Ooh. tie it, and then put the ice around that. And that way you can drain the water off. Whoa. You know, science. That's scientific. Science. Chef, but we have right? a nice walk-in cooler, so we need to worry Shoot about that. Shoot, yeah. So we're going to add all of this mixture. Now, it's windy out here, so I don't want to like wear this. So we're going to add that in there. Mm. Now we do not have any cure just yet. We don't. So we got to follow our directions here. And now, what do you? What is that pink stuff there, Chef Greg? This is uh, sodium um, uh, nitrate. Sorry, I was drawing a blank. I was trying to find where it said the uh, the ratio here. This salt. is curing salt, pink salt. Okay. You don't ingest this. Okay. Okay. This is bad juju right here. So you don't okay. want to smell it. Don't want to ingest it. No, definitely don't, don't want to taste it. it. Don't want to ingest it. Okay. Um, bad news bears. I like it. It'll be a bad day for Makes you. Makes me happy. Okay. But this is going to give us that nice, firm, pink uh, color that we're looking for. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure this. It's two teaspoons. Or, at, sorry, two tablespoons per right five there. pounds. Okay. So this is a two tablespooner right here. Okay. Two tablespooner. Okay. okay so we're actually going to measure this. The one thing you do want to pay attention you to want to be is the cure. Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to screw this one up. And uh, I did not open up the second now, one. Now, how so. long, Chef Greg, is this process going to take? As long as it needs to. Okay. Okay. So uh, scientifically speaking, about five to eight days, depending okay. on how large of a brisket, how thick. Okay. Okay. So we are going to add in four tablespoons because this is a ten-pound piece of meat. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna we're gonna stir that up really good. That's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I like that. And then all you're gonna do is we're gonna take some garlic. Okay. Actually, we can actually use that mortar and pestle again and uh, beat up that garlic right here. Oh yeah, fresh garlic uh, in any kind of cure is amazing. Garlic I got a garlic in my beer. It's okay. Uh, Chef John, you got a good question from the friends out there in Facebook land. Guys, if you have any questions, comments, hatred, put it down in the comment section down below. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit that red rectangle and highlight that uh, notification bell. John. All right, I got two questions. First one comes from top fan Tom Quinn. What's up, Tom? He wants to know, can someone explain to him what that bucket is that you're using? He so this is a Cambro. It's go. just a large food service container. Yep. Um, and since we have the luxury of a walk-in cooler, what's up, buddy? How you doing today? What's um, up? We're going to stick this in the fridge. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can put the brine with the meat in a trash bag. 
I would double bag it for safety. Okay, you, you can never be too safe. You don't want any. Always. You don't want any leakage Kids. out there and have baby briskets. Okay. Double bag. <laughs> so go ahead and tie it off. Put it in your uh, Rectech icer. Right. Then you can pour Whoa. ice all over the outside. Yep. And then if you need to, you can drain that water off. And add more ice. Oh, okay. Very, and you could also get again a five-gallon bucket will work just fine. They've got uh, uh, different devices on Amazon as well. They're called brineers, uh, to where you can actually you know do the same thing with your turkey or any other large piece of meat. Um, check it out on Amazon. But John, you got another good question. Uh, yes, this one coming from Corey Hall. He says, "Can you recap what the seasoning was that you made that brine out of?" Okay, so it's on the website at rectech.com. But we've got. Um Cloves. Here, Sherpa, just take a take a take just a, take a little gander. All right, so we've got cloves, black pepper, we've got mace, we've got cardamom, we've got mustard seeds, we've got ginger, we've got uh, bay leaves, and cinnamon. Okay. Cinnamon, okay. cinnamon, cinnamon. Yeah. I like. You can it. add a little Colton's freaking Greek Swiss in there. Cheese. We're we gonna like Swiss, Swiss cheese. We like Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese is good. And uh, for the record, Shiner and garlic taste really mm -hmm. good together. Okay. So Shiner, right. I'm gonna need you to get on that, okay? Yep. <laughs> a little garlic in your uh, your beer. John, you got another question. This one's coming from uh, Quentin Hunter. He wants to know what kind of pellets we're using today. We got those Kingsford oh, yes. Classic Blend. Look at that. Now you don't need to trim this brisket up. Just just go go ham. Put oh, it in there. Oh yeah. Super look at simple. that. The marbling on that thing is redonkulous. Oh yeah, donker. <laughs> Night, night, and it'll it'll shrink up a little bit, um, and every now and then, you know, maybe every other day, you'll want to flip it over. Okay, very or cool. Or agitate it uh, if it's in the bag. It's really easy to do. But we're gonna stick this in the fridge. But we had two gallons of water, five pounds of ice, which is a half a bag. Right. Um, and then two table, or sorry, uh, it was four tablespoons of all of those seasonings, and then uh, four tablespoons of curing salt, but you have to use the curing salt based on the uh, protein ratio that you're looking for. Now, Chef Greg. So this will go in the fridge. Yeah, absolutely. Well, not for you, but for them. Yeah. It's good. Um, now, how do you know when it's cured? It's a great question. You can do one of two things, okay? Traditionally, you will plug it, so you'll use almost like a uh, like a little uh, like an ice pick type tool, and you can pull out a core sample of that and make sure it's pink throughout. If it's not, just let it go for a couple days. Okay, you can always trim off a little bit or kind of make a little nick in the middle and get a little peekaboo in there is just fine. Okay, absolutely. It'll be really firm. So when you're kind of squeezing it, now that brisket was super pliable when you took it out of the cryovac, but it's going to be really, uh, really rigid and stiff. Absolutely, when it's, it's going to have a totally different texture and a totally different color to it for sure. Yeah, but we've already done that. We've already done the hard part for everybody. For sure. And we went ahead. We've smoked that off. Now when it's cured, okay, you don't just want to throw it onto the Rectech. Right. It's going to be really salty. So what you want to do is you want to remove it from the cure, okay. give it a rinse, and soak it in ice water for about six to eight hours, again, okay. depending on the size of the meat, and then um, change the water maybe two to three times. And that's going to pull out a lot of the salt flavor and still leave us with a really super tasty brisket. Okay, awesome. Now, so if you, you like that it salt to cure it, but then you got to get rid of it because you want to eat it. And if you don't rinse it, it's going to be pretty salty. Ooh. Kind of, uh, could you compare it to uh, like that uh, country ham that we did the other day? Uh, it'd be like 10 times saltier Ooh, country ham. Nobody so wants don't, that. Yeah, you don't eat that. All right, guys, make sure you smash that share button. We're about to pull a brisket off of the RTB380. That's right. We cooked a corned beef brisket on the RTB380. Again, uh, we corned our brisket for about five to eight days. Eh, closer to five. Um, ooh, wow. It's right there. But there's a secret behind this that we've got to get to. Cheese and crackers. So after we've rinsed it, we went ahead and seasoned it with Ben's Heifer Dust. Why? Because everything tastes better with Ben's Heifer Dust. Okay. Now we smoked it at 225 for about three hours. Got some good flavor in there. And then I wrapped it up in plastic wrap like a madman. I'm talking like you just keep twisting, folding, twisting, folding, twisting, folding. Okay. Now okay. why did you do that, Chef Greg? Because I want to trap a lot of the steam in there. Okay, and that's going to help tenderize the brisket and give us a really nice moist corned beef. Ooh. And then we wrapped it in foil, but you want to let this rest uh, in that package before we open it for a little bit. Uh, we're going to get right into it because we're, we're hungry and we're yeah, making we're, sandwiches. Yeah, we're crazy maniacs. Um, but wrapped in foil for another four to five-ish hours. I do up the temp once I wrap it to about 275 or 300, but once it's nice and tender. That's what you want. All right, okay. and don't forget, guys, we're announcing a giveaway winner. We always give something away on this amazing show, as well as most of our other shows, and we will be spinning that wheel of Rectech. We've got some new items added to it. Yeah, she's been excited serviced. to show you guys. Well, because it's been serviced, Jenny. It was landing on Absolutely. grills every yeah, week. Yeah, it was landing on grills every week, and that's kind of fishy and funny, and uh, <laughs> I admit, I... I fooled it. Like, Did I, you fool it, Jody? I, I twisted the Man. nut a little too tight. 
uh, and I think I'm the reason why that happened. So we'll you're welcome, fresh everyone. Fresh sausages down there if you want to put them on. Oh yeah, let's put some of them fresh sausages on. But sausages. we're gonna be doing corned beef Rubens today. It's named after a Jewish grocer, grocer from Ohio, Omaha, Nebraska. Mm -hmm. Nice. Ruben Kulikovsky. Kulikovsky. Easy yes. for you to say. He invented the sandwich in the early 1900s. Man, that sounds delicious. Now, a Reuben consists of delicious marble rye here. Oh, yeah, you got to have... But I can't wait to eat it on the bread that you... Uh... You got to have some sauerkraut. You've got to have some Thousand Island dressing, which we have here homemade. Uh, you also have to have Swiss cheese. Chuck, can you run in the cooler and grab that Swiss cheese if we don't have it out? I don't think we have it out we here. We do not. Straight ahead. Um, Swiss cheese, and uh, we're going we're gonna to Irish it up a bit because yesterday... Live on YouTube, I cooked up a um, cheesy bacon beer bread. And we sliced mm, that up. Mm. So and we're good, gonna dude. we're gonna Irish it up a bit. And we're gonna make a Reuben out of this uh, cheesy beer bread, as well as some pickled cabbage that we did. With just a quick some pickle. nice spicy brown mustard in that bread would have been like next level. Oh yeah. But I'm gonna clear this off so you guys can uh, see what we got but, going on. Guys, here. you gotta smash that share button. I'll give you three seconds to do it for this beef. Corned beef brisket. We're gonna make you? Rubens out of it. Three, two, one, smash, smash it. it! All right, so let's go ahead and unwrap this bad boy. And you can see uh, we double double wrapped it in foil. Always double wrap. Always everybody. double wrap in foil. Oh, that smells amazing, guys. I wish you could smell it, my buddy yeah, Elon. He's working on that smell of vision. I promise you. All right, now, you can see how we went crazy with that plastic wrap, and look at how like tender that is. Wow. Okay. Now we leave it in the plastic wrap because it traps the steam. But look. So he traps the juice in there. Oh, Look at yeah. that. That's that's the good good. Give it to me, Chef Greg. Now I this mean, thing shrunk uh, a lot. For sure. But now Chef is, Greg, yeah, for buddy. all those new owners, they're out here asking, what were all those gloves that you just put on before you started handling that corned beef? So these are my uh, my pantry paws. Insulated okay? gloves. These are just cotton gloves, so I can actually handle this really hot, flaming hot piece of meat. Oh, and you yeah. can see how like. I mean, that's the good jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. That mm -hmm. thing looks absolutely amazing. We're yeah, going to get some great thin slices. Now, that's exactly how we want to do this. We want to slice this thing thin, and we also want to make sure that we slice against the grain. Yep. So you can see the grain, the structure is running like this. So I'm going to turn it so we're cutting against the grain. Ooh, while he okay. slices that, we need you to wow. smash that share button. Three, two, one, smash, smash it. it. And I don't mind the fat on here, and that's why we don't cut it off. Yes. Okay. I don't mind eating that. It's going to be delicious okay. on a sandwich. But this is going to be next level. Oh, that one fell off. House cured, smoked, mm -hmm. corned beef brisket. Yes. You'll notice Her. that that pink is throughout because it is cured. And that's going to take that that five to, to seven day process. Just like grandmama used to make. Is it, is it, is it that good? Mm. But look how nice and tender this is. Yes, that's why sir. you wrap it in the uh, the plastic wrap. Now, I like it a little saltier, Chef Greg, so I'd probably stop after one salt bath, okay. uh, one ice bath. Mm -hmm. um, but this tastes absolutely mm. amazing. And again, you're getting that, that cured mm -hmm. uh, meat flavor. Mm. Yes, sir, Chef John. All right, top mm. fan Valerie Carmony says, could you soft. please say the time and temp again? My boss interrupted me while I was watching. How rude, Valerie. <laughs> How dare he bother you while you're at work? <laughs> All right, so we went ahead 225 for about three hours. Then I wrapped it up like a crazy person in a uh, plastic wrap and then uh, foil, and we let it go till it was nice and tender. It's like another like four or five hours. I did up the temp to about 275, um, but that's what you want. Super, super delicious. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. These brats are starting to boil out a little bit here, so they are cooked as much as we want them to. We're gonna put them in with our onions, and we're gonna give these mamma jammas a nice, delicious Shiner Bach beer bath. Oh, yum. Now any any of your favorite beers would work. There's a you know the silver bullets, uh, the blue ribbons. Uh, there's a lot of great beers out there. But why not start with the best and go with that Shiner Bach? But you gotta have mm -hmm. that delicious Shiner Bach. Now get on in here Sherpa you're missing the best part. Now Chef Greg yeah, we got a question from top fan uh, Jeff Gately. He says did you trim that any differently than you would any other brisket? Um, yeah because I didn't trim it. So you, no trim no on trim. that. No trim. Work. No trim. Um, you can if you want. For me, I don't mind eating the fat get in there. on this. Um, but for me, you know, uh, if I'm trimming like brisket, like a barbecue brisket, I do trim a lot of that fat off. Yes. But this one, 
I didn't trim. You can see that fat cap on the top and all the uh, the good gobbly goo on the side, which I don't mind eating in this capacity because it's all salty, salty and delicious. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm sir. looking for a, a like a traditional smoked beef brisket. I do trim off a lot of that fat. So before you, uh, we want to toast this, yeah, right? We want to toast the bread. I got I got a cast iron skillet, nice and warm here. Okay. And you got to have a little little squeeze butter. Okay. And you can even, if you wanted to, use some of that like rendered corned beef fat for here, like go ahead and extra do, do, do mine right there. God, dude, this is so good We're right here. We're gonna toast this, bad yeah. mama jam. Top fan Al Bassett says local Kroger's have briskets on sale for one ninety nine a pound right now. That's right, Al. Good, very good tip. We'll do uh, two of these. Al, we still gotta go rip some lips. Oh, I'm gonna we, go fishing. We just gotta find a, a time and day to go with you, buddy. Hopefully, you're feeling better after your surgery. I will toast that one in a second. 10-4, running out of room. room. All right, guys, uh, remember, we're going to be announcing a winner, and we're going to be spending that wheel of rec tech. We always require you to smash that share button as part of the giveaway, so just go ahead and get that out of the way. Three, two, one, smash, smash it. it. Uh, put in the comments section down below what you would like to see us cook uh, for your future episodes, what uh, themes you would like to see out there. We really need uh, some help in generating more content for you guys that you want to see. Uh, let us hit the nail on the head and put it in the comment section down below. Shoot, yeah, buddy. And then also your favorite Irish dish that we've done so far. Here you go, Sherpa. We'd love to know. Mm. Mm. All right, Jody, I got a question coming from Matt Porter. Yes, sir. Matt. Do you place the brisket directly uh, on the rec tech from the cooler, or do you let it get room temperature and then on the grill? Very good question. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a cold kind of guy, um, especially if you're going a larger piece of meat. Um, I want to get more time at that, that lower smoke temp. So if you take a piece of meat out of the, of the fridge, like a steak, a chop, piece of chicken, yeah, let it go up to room temp, and that way you're going from, say, 60 to 70 degrees all the way up to, like, a steak, maybe, like, 130, 125. Oh, very good. Very There's cool. less time for it to get kind of firm up through the cooking process. A piece of meat we're going to cook to a degree of doneness. I want that 40 to 70 degree range okay. um, for more flavor penetration into the meat. Yes, John, you got a good question. This one's coming from uh, Jerry Ferguson. He says, uh, what grade brisket did we use today? Uh, today we used uh, the Cal American Wagyu, which we will premiere on Wednesday. You guys will see it already cured. And uh, for our climax on Wednesday, uh, we will be doing just regular corned beef for you. We'll all go through the process uh, front to begin, front to start, left to right, back to front, all the way around. <laughs> oh man, but we've also got, uh, Greg's got some fresh, you said kielbasas, Greg? Yeah, just some, some bangers, you know? Some bangers and mash. And then we also have the tailgating special. We've got a half aluminum pan full of a, about two to three Shinerbach beers with some delicious Vidalia onions, yeah, uh, some bratwurst, some beer wurst, yes, some sir. cheese wurst, mm. you know. They've mm. already been cooked. We like they're just They're just chilling out in that beer to yeah, give us some yeah. nice deliciousness. Delicious. We like first. It's good. All right, so let's, uh, oh, we can yeah, speed this along. Chef if you want Greg. to uh, give me a little bit of squeeze butter on that no, pan. No, no, let's do a uh, uh, Thousand Islands. So oh, okay. We'll, we'll build this in reverse. All right, Chef Greg and Jody, Kevin Fuller's out here. He says, you guys need to come to the coast of North Carolina. He said, we'll do some deep sea fishing. We have a boat ready all the time. All right, shoot let's you, go. Buddy, let's shoot go. You. Anytime now. We got to film some awesome content, so. All right, so we toasted the one side, and we'll go ahead and build these up. Ooh. A little bit of a. Ooh, that looks so oh, good. That light tint is perfect. Size? Yeah. yeah, there you go. Oh, yes. Yep. Yes. All right, go ahead and uh, hit me with a little bit of a uh, Thousand Island on that one. Okay. That'll be the bottom of yours. Oh, my goodness. And again, that was that homemade God. Thousand Island. We'll tell you how we did it, how we made it and why it's yeah, delicious. Guys, I need y'all to smash that heart button, smash mm. that wow button, show the love. Look at that right there. You want some of uh, your pickled? Uh... Yeah, I got to use some of that pickled cabbage. Hopefully it's it's nice and delicious. That house made pickled kraut looking so good. Oh yeah. Grab some of this Swiss cheese on the top. I think Matthew McConaughey just showed up. Man, somebody with, a, <laughs> with an awesome <laughs> Awesome, 350 Chevy. Jody, so uh, if people want to know about uh, like when events are going to be happening, restocks on products, Absolutely. where we're going to be in the future, where do they need to go? Where do they need Guys, to do? Guys, you got to go to rectech.com and sign up for the newsletter. All you have to do is go to any home, any page at rectech.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom. There you will see a area where it says sign up for the newsletter. Just insert your email 
and then um, you'll be signed up to receive all of that behind the scenes information. And again, we quick pickled this cabbage. What's oh up, man, baby? the man, the myth, the legend just showed up. Some fresh corned beef. <laughs> Woo! Hey, Ray, while we got you, can we get you to spin the wheel of Rack Tech? Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna, Go, before we announce the winner, we got the man, he's on the move. We're gonna get him to spin the wheel of Rec Tech. It. It's on over there, Ray Sherpa will follow you over there. You know the two right. rules, right? Spin it hard as hell. There you go. And to the right, clockwise. Clockwise. The man, the myth, the legend, he knows it. We've added a few things, Ray. Don't be mad, uh, mad about us. <laughs> Sorry. Three, two, one. Spin it. All right. All hard you, as hell. Hard as hell. <laughs> All you got to do is put uh, in the comment section down below, hashtag best pellet grill ever. Hashtag best pellet grill ever. Share this video and love this video. All right, we'll give away another one. Oh, boy. Even wow. though we try to avoid giving away an RT700, <laughs> it is inevitable. The yeah. is against he said us. no. It is inevitable. It the co-founder said no, he, we're he, giving a 700 away today. He pulled up at the right time. He knew what was happening. That's right. Thank you, Ray Carnes, for doing that. Guys, that is the co-founder. It must have been the corn beef. Did you tell them what they have to do to enter now? Yes, sir. They have to love this video. They have to share this video, and they have to put in the comment section, hashtag best pellet grill ever. Yeah. I love That's it. what it's I'm amazing. talking about. That's right. So we've got these sandwiches. I did. I uh, put, they're uh, toasting. They're building. They're marrying together. This is a very important process, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yeah, so they got to live and marry together. Process. Now we did get. Um, I put uh, the traditional uh, okay. um, pick, quick pickled uh, cabbage on your Reuben. Nice. Okay. And then I added uh, I the other one. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I know. I mean, I can't wait to try this. We communicate. I am well. jacked up about this. Again, I'm cheating, but that's okay. It's okay. You've been putting in work. We've been, everybody's not, been putting in it's work. It's not man. cheating if, if, if you made it, though. I mean, you have to make sure it's good, right? And, you know, people have been noticing you've been trimming down oh, a little shut bit. shut up, John. Don't, don't even start that I'm conversation. I'm just saying. Hey, guys, you can follow along. <laughs> All you have to do is go and check out our uh, friends, with the Grill Great, and they've got a page on Facebook. Uh, Grill Great Keto, Carnivore Keto Cut. Join that page, and you can follow along uh, with Danny Vega. He's a rec tech owner, and uh, he is uh, dedicating himself for 30 days to help folks lose weight. I've been doing his program, and all I've been doing is eating meat, no sugars. You've been killing no it. No nothing. You really have. Just a carnivore diet, hardcore level five, and uh, we've been losing a lot of weight. But my next step is having to exercise because I feel like I've hit that. I've hit that wall. So, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited, excited about, about this next stop. Next step. We'll baby. see it. We'll see it. Woo! We'll you can see go to the gym it. with John? Oh, I don't know about that. Come I, on now. I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I, I feel uh, a John, little, uh, Did you know John's a member of a ladies' gym? It makes sense. Hey. He's the only, when in Rome, he's the only male member. When in Rome. Dang, I wish, I had, I wish that was a dad I'll joke. I'm just yeah, telling you right now. I wish that was the dad joke. <laughs> um, I thought there was one there. But Chef Greg, did you did you know that I tried to make a Reuben at home the other day and I couldn't find the rye bread? Yep. I guess you could say that went awry. Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh, my plans went awry. Oh, cheese and crackers. But that was your dad joke of the week, brought to you by Shinerbach Beer. Go out there and get yourself a Shinerbach. There's nothing finer than a Shiner. Well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe one thing that rhymes, I don't know. <laughs> but, flip this over. Uh, flip, give it one in there, Sherpa cheese and crackers. Check it out. That's a Reuben but right ladies there, Ladies and gentlemen, buddy. we've got the traditional Reuben and then we've got the Irish Reuben going on. You can't this is going to be a messy wrong. sandwich, Jody. I think you're going to mess I up the beer. I am excited. Uh, hopefully it just doesn't frenulum uh, uh, or the sides of my a face. Frenulum, uh, a frenulum emergency, yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't want you to forget about the Dirty Girl transfusion that was just rolled out. Uh, mm. Amazing, amazing cocktail in a so can. You get two good. cocktails in one can, 7% ABV. Uh -huh. uh, it's grape juice, ginger ale, and vodka. It's not too grapey. It's not too ginger ale. It's mm -hmm. not too vodka-y. It's, it's perfect. the perfect combination of all of that deliciousness. Yeah. Again, you um, you put a little lime on it, garnish it with a lime, mm -hmm. sprinkle a little bit of lime juice in there. It, it will uh, quench your thirsts yeah, and reactivate you on a cold, hot, uh, blustery, windy, uh, any kind of day. If yeah, you're playing for sure. golf, 
you're going to shoot better in the back nine. Yeah. If you're okay. on the lake, you're going to rip more lips. If you're cutting grass, your grass is never going to look nicer. Cheese and crackers. I've got to get some of that in my life. I can't <laughs> wait for the 31st so I can drink a four pack. And that's eight cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to flip this out and okay. then uh, get ready to eat some. Now, don't forget, we got a winner to announce. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that while Chef Greg is pulling stuff off of the grill. Last week, it landed on an RT700 again. Uh, it seems to be a trend, everybody. <laughs> this week it landed on RT700. But last week's winner, he did everything we wanted him to, Mr. Adam Kuznet. Hey. K-U-Z-N-E-T. Uh, you've got to hit us up, DM us, direct message us on Facebook. We will confirm that it is you, and we will get that brand new RT700 right. valued at $1199, six year warranty, 40 pound hopper, ceramic ignition system, PID controller, Wi Fi yeah, connectivity, buddy. cheese and crackers. You get all now, of that now good Jody, stuff. Now, Jody, let me ask you this real I'm not quick. I'm cutting your sandwich because you're going to destroy the beard, but oh. I'm going to be nice and split mine with Chef Jody. Jody, let me ask you this real quick. So, the grills that yes, we sir? give away or people yes. win on Absolutely. the shows. They come with the warranties as well? Absolutely. They come with full warranty warranties Ooh. just as if they had purchased it uh, from RecTech.com. Wow. Um, of course, we're going to offer them that awesome RecTech support. Um, but again, Mr. Adam Kuznet was the winner of the RT700. Awesome. We're giving away another RT700, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to love this video. you got to share this video. you got to put in the comment section down below, hashtag best pellet grill ever. Yeah, but buddy. we did corned beef Rubens I mean, today. Look yeah. At, look at that. Like. If that doesn't scream that looks delicious, so good. I, like, put, I want to get some gloves on. Yeah, y'all yeah. better on, say, John, that's that's going right, say, y'all better save me a piece of that. I'm, I'm going a about piece, to go John, ham this, on this sandwich thing. is like six pounds. I'm coming. And again, How don't do forget we've got those. How do you drink the Guinness those, out of a can? It, well, you know, it's got the CO2 cartridge in there. Nitrogen. So yeah. They really want you to pour it into a glass, everybody. Yeah. Just know that. John they really doesn't do listen want to, you to rules. He breaks them. Oh, my goodness. All right, wait. Yeah. Me. Jesus, Jody. If y'all start without me, I crackers. swear to the Lord above. <laughs> is it, uh, but if you take it any longer, <sighs> cheers. Man, cheers. So cheers, hot. Facebook. All right. Here we go. Guys, smash that share button. Three, two, one. Smash it like we're going to smash the sandwich. Mm. Oh, my God. That's so good. Mm. That's so good. Mm -hmm. Tender, flavorful. Mm. You get a little bit of the acid from the cabbage. Oh, God. The corned beef is awesome. The Swiss cheese, mm. Chef Craig, come on. Well, guys, this bread I cooked yesterday. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. It's perfect with this. Mm. The quick pickled cabbage. Mm. Woo! Chef Home. Craig, do you like it? Run. No, super good. <laughs> mm. His mouth's full. He can't talk. Mm. I'm cheating. cheating. Cheat it up, Jody. Cheat. You deserve Jody, it, Michael. Jody, 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 Jody. Hey, cheers wow. to you guys. That was awesome. Yes, sir. Cheers, everybody. Man, I'm going to wipe my face. I just finished a show like that. Yeah. Oh. It's good. That, that but don't forget, like next Ooh. level. Our Twitter expert, Jordan Johnson, goes live on the air oh. after we finish here. So make sure you tune. And head on over to Twitter. Make sure you subscribe and uh, like and follow our Twitter as well. That's right. Hell, retweet our stuff. We'd really love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, movie night. But movie night, John. Explain it. All right. Tonight, 6 o'clock, gates open. We're playing Toy Story out on Woo. the big screen. My favorite. That's what I'm talking about on the Rec Tech parking lot. $10 a car load. $10 a van load. You know? $10. $10. Bring the family. There's going to be food trucks out here. We've sanitized the Rec Tech playground. Shoot, yeah. BYOB, bring your pets. There's no reason why you should. BYOG, yeah. BYOT, yeah. bring your tents, bring, bring your heaters, bring your coolers, bring your fold out fans. tables. Yeah, do it. Bring the kids and let them run like crazy. By the time you get home, they're passed out. Yeah. It's amazing. You can have a couple drinks with your loved seat, ones. Drooling like a fat kid. Right, for right. sure. But movie nights, every Friday night, they're started back up. That's right, six o'clock. Six o'clock. Gates the open. Movie starts at seven thirty. Yeah, buddy. Uh, don't sure. forget to follow us on all social media. I'm, I'm at BBQ Dad Jody. He's at, <coughs> excuse me, at Chef Greg Muller. He is at Chef John Pinnell. We love you. We thank you. If you but need how any, are they going to win? They got to like this video, love this video. They got to share this video, and they got to put in the comment section down below. Hashtag Best Pellet Grill Ever. If you want to win an RT 700. Yeah, buddy. All right, from everybody here at the Worldwide Headquarters of Rec Tech. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And we will see you at, at the, the Rec Tech. Tech. Do do do. do. Do, 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 oh, yeah. do, 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 rec tech lifestyle, set it, oh. and come.